Hey guys, in this video, we will be seeing about the low ground clearance issue of the BS6 4 screw car. This is Django, my 4 screw car. I have just swapped the tires with mud terrain Maxxis tires. Besides that, there has been no other modification, everything is factory fitted. The Ghurka is a great off-roader. Even right out of the factory, it's a plug-and-play off-roader. It's got a factory fitted snorkel, manually locking diffs on both the front and rear. These features are unique to the Ghurka and are not found on any other vehicle produced in India. I'm driving my Ghurka in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. The Gurkha is extremely capable in every kind of terrain, be it rock, mud, slush, sand or even water. Whatever you throw at it, the Gurkha is ready for it. While the whole world is going crazy about electronics with dials and fancy gizmos, this Gurkha still remains charmingly old school with a dedicated 4x4 lever. The normal configuration which is too H or too high, the engine power goes to the rear wheels and it drives the rear two wheels alone. You can switch to 4H that is 4 high or 4L which is 4 low depending on the situation off road to transfer power from the engine to all the four wheels to get out of any tricky situation. My Ghurka continues to surprise and impress me over all kinds of terrain especially in the beach sands of Andaman. The Ghurka feels right at home. Air down the tires, switch to 4 high and let it loose on the sand. For such a capable off-roader, its Achilles heel is the low ground clearance caused by this plate between the front wheels. This remains one of the biggest complaints of present new Gurkha owners and for uh, customers considering the Gurkha. Bash plate and uh, underbody protection of this sort is generally given to protect uh, critical components on the axle or on the transmission. The older 2017 Gurkha, which you see on the top of the screen, did not have this kind of a plate. But in the 2021 model, this plate has been in introduced newly. So in the 2017 model, the front arms were the lowest point in the underbody of the vehicle. But in the 2021 model, this bracket becomes the lowest point and it causes that low ground clearance issue. In both the older 2017 model and the new BS6 Gurkha, the front arms are at about 205 mm height from the ground. But the new plate introduced in the BS6 Gurkha is about 175 mm off the ground and this keeps hitting constantly when you go off-road. If you're not careful while off-roading, you are bound to get this plate hit with a loud thud and it feels as if somebody rammed a spike into your brain. If we observe this plate from the back side, it appears there is still a lot of gap above this plate and as if the designers have lowered this plate intentionally. Now why would anybody lower the ground clearance of an off-road vehicle we would never know until we actually find the designers and ask them a wild guess would be that they have intentionally lowered it so that there is something lower than the front arms to take the beating I have been genuinely trying to make do with this existing setup and I've gone off-road extensively with it but each time that plate hits anything it feels as though somebody rattled your brains so I decided to take matters into my own hands and uh, decided to modify the plate to liberate more ground clearance. The second issue for this island Gurkha is that I do a lot of off-roading by the beach and sometimes in the water. So there is a real threat of salt water attack and rapid rusting. So I needed to get the underbody coated accordingly. With the help of my friendly neighborhood force dealer Mr. Shibu in Port Blair, we lifted the truck on lifts and inspected the underbody. The first order of business was to remove this rogue plate and remodel it in a way which increases ground clearance but still offers protection. 
So we removed the plate and we remolded the plate to the shape of the undercarriage to offer protection and use the same mounting points to take the plate as high as possible closer to the body of the vehicle and mounted it there. The next job was to coat the underbody of the vehicle. We used a 3M under seal which offers good rust protection. After a thorough wash and drying, the vehicle was degreased and the coating was applied everywhere in the underbody of the vehicle. We used hammer tone paint for uh, protecting the wheel well against abrasive materials hitting being flung from the wheels. We also coated the exhaust with the HT high temperature paint. You can see the difference before and after on the screen and uh, it might need regular touching up but it offers good uh, first line of defense against rapid rusting. With this modification I have managed to get the ground clearance up to a decent 235mm befitting of a Gurkha. Life is much better now and I am able to take my Gurkha off-road with much more peace of mind. Thanks for your time guys, that is the end of the video. Please do let me know in the comments below if you found this information useful. Ask me anything about the new Gurkha and I will try to answer them the best I can. Bye bye.